Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I am about to have a word with Miss Miranda Lawson here. As soon as it loads. There she is. There I am. Let us conversate, Miranda. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Um... Considering what Cerberus did in the first game, and uh, something that they they do mention what Cerberus did in the first game, uh, but the one thing they don't mention is that they uh, killed um, Admiral Kahoku. Um, I may have just screwed up that guy's name. Hopefully I didn't. But he seemed like a good guy, and... Um, Oh yeah, they also killed his men. Um, so, Miranda, as far as I'm concerned, I shouldn't have to be winning you over and making you trust me. It should be the other way around. But anyway, investigate. Let us ask about Miranda Lawson. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad he was in charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. We can do both. I mean, it's not like we don't have time. Um, anyway, before I go talk to Jacob, uh, you may have noticed that Shepard's face is... Uh, it, it looks like it's seen better days. And what that is, um, and it's not much of a spoiler to tell you this at this point, is that it's kind of like in Knights of the Old Republic, um, in that uh, this game has a karma meter. It keeps track of the good deeds you do, the bad deeds you do. And uh, just like... Mass Effect 1. However, um, whereas doing bad deeds had no um, consequences that you could see on Shepard in Mass Effect 1, uh, in this game, if you do bad deeds, then those, uh, those wounds on your face, those scars, as they call them, although they're way worse than any scars I have ever seen. They get worse. Um, it's, uh, 
as somebody tells Shepard later, how well they heal up depends on his uh, state of mind. Like if he's calm and paragon-like and not renegade-like, then they heal better. But if he's more like aggressive and he gets upset and angry and so on, then they get worse. Although you can spend a lot of money on uh, cosmetic surgery to make them go away entirely if they get too bad. But uh, I w before uh, uh, before I stop talking about this and talk to Jacob, I will mention that it's just um, if you do if you play through as a renegade and you don't get that uh, cosmetic surgery, Shepard can just end up looking like horrifying like you expect people to like have to fight the urge to vomit when they see him and the reason i say that uh, it's like knights of the Old republic is because in those games if you did dark side things then the dark side of the force corrupted your body it corrupted your appearance it made you it made your skin go pale it made your eyes turn turn this sickly yellow and it and it, it made you look not very good at all. Um, so, now we will speak with Mr. Taylor here, who is enjoying the view. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Yeah, I'll reserve judgment. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? Uh, well, I'd have... I haven't had a lot of time to get to know you, Jacob. You seem like a nice guy. But I'm not gonna say that I trust you... Um... 100% without any question. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. It generally is worth, you know, learning about your enemy and not just not just hating them because, oh, they're on the other side. I hate them because they're on the other side. I'm not interested in why they do what they do. So, so let's um, ask why he joined Cerberus. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay. That's enough talking, I suppose. We have covered everything that we can cover. And it is time we get going. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Um, by the way, uh... I, we just got some Renegade and some Paragon points, and I guess I should uh, t tell you a little bit of what to expect about how I'm going to play Shepard. I'm going to play this guy as a Paragon. Um, it's, uh, I mean, in in all, every one of the games, I have done one playthrough as a Paragon and one as a Renegade just to see the, how much of a difference it's made and, and um, the effect that it's had the various uh, 
um, different choices. Um, that be and so a lot of the time I, I can tell myself, hey, it's it's just a game. These aren't real people. Uh, this isn't real universe. Um, it's no there's no point in feeling sorry for anybody. That being said, you know, good writing makes you care about people, even even if they aren't real. And these games are for the the most part quite well written. And I care about the people. And I try I don't like seeing people suffering in these games. So I prefer uh, being a paragon and uh, and you know doing good deeds basically good feels good for me anyway your mileage may vary now that being said some of the renegade choices in this game are kind of amusing uh, so sometimes what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first I'm going to save the game. I'm going to do the Renegade thing so you guys can see it because I think it's worth uh, I think it's worth including in the video. And then I will probably end up going back and uh, and doing the Paragon thing instead because uh, you know I don't I want you guys to see what the renegade option is but i don't want to get a reputation for being a dick and i don't want to make all the people i don't want to make all the all kinds of people hate me for acting like a dick now jacob and miranda are getting impatient they're like we're sick of standing around here shepherd why the fuck are you just standing around fidgeting let's go to freedom's progress so all right guys you don't have to nag me and, uh, well, okay, level up. Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operatives Taylor and Lawson. I know you can probably read this yourself, but uh, I hope you don't mind me reading it. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Geez, you could salvage it. I mean, that's not very cost effective. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running it. Security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Indeed, I am. Long service bonuses. Oh, that's... Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I already talked about um, how the game gave me this stuff because I had beaten it. Um... I got that, and I got that, and now we are moving on. One thing I did notice in the first uh, playthrough is that um, the loading screen here, it shows the trajectory of the ship and the trajectory of the shuttle that it drops. So it, it's not just meaningless images. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. I imagine it might chat Miranda's ass somewhat that um, she has to do whatever I say, even though she's got seniority, and even though she is not, um, she has expressed doubts about me. But, well tough shit, Miranda. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Her first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town.
looks like I have... What do I have? Well, I got this Mantis Sniper Rifle, which I will switch to because that's a good weapon for an infiltrator to use. You just cloak and use that sniper rifle to shoot whatever you want to shoot. It's uh, usually a one-hit kill, and being invisible, they don't know, they don't see you, they don't go, oh shit, I need to get out of the way of that sniper guy. Um, Miranda and, um, and Jacob, I'm going to turn on Jacob's incendiary ammo. I am fine with warp ammo, although disruptor might be better. Disruptor ammo is good against shields, and warp ammo is um, good against armor. But uh, sniper rifle is very powerful, so it doesn't make a huge difference which one I use. Um, Predator Heavy Mistle, Shuriken Machine Pistol. Uh, yeah, the Shuriken there is um, more rapid fire, less powerful. Well, it, I, it said you can see weak against armor, good against barriers and shields. Jacob, Katana Shotgun, and Piss Predator Heavy Pistol. You can use keep using that shotgun, Jacob, if you want to switch weapons. I will leave it up to your AI to decide whether you want to do that. Now, enough talk. I, I keep worrying that I'm talking too much and not playing the game enough. But now, so I'm gonna leave this.